Hey guys, here we go into a video on whether or not Golovkin is getting better. And it's a really fascinating idea because we have clearly seen an evolution of Canelo from the first fight with Triple G, his second fight with Triple G, his fight with Rocky Fielding, and then his fight with Daniel Jacobs. And he has improved tremendously. It's fascinating. It's amazing to see what he's done and how he's gone. And I guess what we're going to look at now is whether or not Golovkin has made any adjustments in his game too. Um, and the ones that I talked to, or the ones that I saw most notably in the Rolls fight, we're going to kind of outline here uh, with a little bit of the Canelo fight. So let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, Canelo's pressing forward and Golovkin has kind of a stale, stale guard, right? He's allowing Canelo to throw punches at him and he's when, when punches are thrown at him, look at how he just moves off the line, right? Look at how he transfers his weight to his back leg, right? And then hops back, right? He kind of follows his weight back. It's kind of like he's just leaning backwards on his back foot. But as you can see, <coughs> he's not looking to counter punch. He's not moving his head. He just kind of shells up. And he, he can see the punches coming, right? Block, block, easy peasy, right? And he can see the punches coming. But as you see, he only takes his steps back. He doesn't look to counter punch or attack Canelo when Canelo looks to throw punches with him on the line. Or... He looks to keep his head on the line and maintain position and throw punches and punch with Canelo, as you see right there. These are his main strategies, right? As you see again, throw punches with Canelo, and or and but his head stays nearly the same spot, right? And again, just more moving back, getting away from the punches, or punching with Canelo, right? Or again, moving off the line. Now when we get to the Steve Rolls fight... Uh, we see a lot of really fascinating things. And I started this one. I'm, I apologize for the bad quality. Um, but look at how he's fainting. Look at how he's giving different looks. And look at how he's transferring his weight, right? Whoops. Look how he's transferring his weight, right, to his front leg, to his back leg as he probes forward, right? And he's giving his opponent different looks. And he's using a lot of different head movement, right? Much, much different than in the, in the Canelo fight, right? Bending down at the waist, getting different looks, you know, and he's kind of getting pieced up a little bit right there. But let's not focus on that, right? Because he's trying new things. Because as we saw, he didn't slip a lot of punches when he fought Canelo, right? He would just move back and get out of the way. Look at how he sets this right hand up, right? By fainting, slipping to the inside, slipping to the inside, and then shooting that shot right there. And it's very similar to what he was doing here, right? Sli uh, slipping to the inside. Whoops, did I miss the whole clip, right? Slipping to the outside, right? And he's able to use those weight transfers to hide these these clever shots on the inside. But what he, it looks like what he's looking to to get better at is slipping shots, right? Slipping the jab, right? Steve Rolls catches him with the jab right there, right? And he moves off the line, kind of getting back to his roots there. But, you know, and again, slip, slip, right? He gets caught with a hook again. He got caught with the, uh, with the two here. So then he's all, oh, I know that the two's coming. So he goes... One, two, gets out of the two, but then he gets hit with the hook, right? But you can see that he's working on head movement. As you see here, whoops, as you see here in the final clip, right? Slip, one, two, and then moving off the line, right? That he's working on these things and that he's looking to improve his skill set overall rather than kind of... Um, Rather than kind of maintain just moving away from his opponent and getting away from the count or the the attacks of his opponent, he's looking to set up offense off of them as well, and that'll be a, um, something that we look forward to seeing in the maybe the rematch with with Canelo. Maybe he fights Canelo next year instead. I'm not sure. We kind of already saw, and I already kind of knew that De La Hoya was going to say that performance was not good enough to get a rematch with Canelo. But you know, whatever. Um, but as you can see, when you get to the Steve Rolls fight. He's working on things. His guard is much better. The way that he's slipping, right? And look at how this is really great boxing too, right? Slips to the inside. Look at how he touches his opponent's lead hand as he slips to the inside, right? That means he's only in danger from the right hand because he's controlling the lead hand, right? And then as he leans forward on the, the back foot, he controls the lead hand with his front foot again, right? Or with his front hand again, with his with his lead hand instead of his back hand. Um, again, making sure that he's only in danger by the right hand so he can get off the line from it, right? And again, just really interesting stuff going on from from Golovkin, and I'm really impressed. Even though the, the Steve Rolls fight wasn't super impressive for the first couple rounds, I really appreciate that he's taking the time to work on these things uh, and elevate his game. Because as we saw in the Canelo fight, it's just... 
he's just not good enough to separate himself enough from Canelo to make it a clear victory for everybody. Uh, the fights were close, even though I did have Golovkin uh, winning the fights. They were close, and you have to respect that, that both of them are saying that they need to get better in order to, to win the third, the rubber match, you know? And I don't want to call it a rubber match because they're like 1-0-1, -oh and one, you know? But, um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks, guys.